President Moon Jae-in held a lunch meeting today with representatives of South Korea's four leading conglomerates, Samsung, SK, LG and Hyundai, to discuss the results of his recent summit with U.S. President Joe Biden. Moon credited these leaders and their companies with the good outcomes of the summit, referring to the tens of billions of dollars of investment that they pledged to make in the U.S. Those investments helped develop partnerships in new and important industries. Kim Min-ji reports. President Moon Jae-in praised South Korea's major conglomerates for the fruitful outcome of his recent trip to the U.S. Moon had a luncheon meeting on Wednesday with SK Group Chairman Che Tae-wan, Hyundai Motor Group Chairman Chung Hee-sun, and LG Group Chairman Koo Gwang Mo. Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Kim Ji Nam attended on behalf of de facto chair Lee Jae-yong, who is behind bars. <laughs> The four groups announced investments worth over $39 billion in the U.S., a move intended to help build supply chain resilience. SK Group Chairman Che Tae-wan said he'll make continued efforts toward an active economic partnership between Seoul and Washington, while LG Group Chairman Koo Gang Mo pledged to create more opportunities. Moon asked the companies for continued support while brushing off concerns that the major investment in the U.S. could lead to a loss of new jobs in the local economy. <laughs> As for the politically sensitive issue of considering a special presidential pardon for Samsung chief Lee Jae-yong, Moon said that he understands the difficulties. The top office said the leaders asked the president to consider a recent proposal made by five major business lobby groups, that is, to pardon E. Moon was also quoted as saying that the current economic situation is different from before and that he is aware that companies are being requested to make bold actions. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.